guys welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with the credentials and you are in the this kind of dashboard now what you have to do just simply click on this hamburger option then click on this directories then click on this organizational units click on there and now simply click on create organizational units okay now just scroll down to the task number one and one more thing guys if you just perform the any three tasks task number one task number two Two and task number three and you get 30 out of 40 in this lab you can just simply end the lab because after getting 30 out of 40 in this lab the lab will pass for you okay no need to perform the task number four if you want okay so just scroll down and in here create teachers and student OES just copy the name called teachers paste the name over here you can just give any description simply click on create again we have to do the same thing for students so just copy the name called students make sure you do not copy that inverted comma then again click on create organizational page the name in description you can give anything and simply click on create so it's done now click on this users then click on this add new user and here please pay attention guys okay so we have to create two users okay uh, one is student and one is teacher so i'm going to create first student so just type stu d e n t student and you can give uh, any name okay then just click on this uh, manage users then simply click on this pencil icon and then click on student okay so this is for student so choose student and simply click on done now click on add new users and you are done now for the second user simply click on done for the second user we have to copy the password so just do one thing you, you can use uh, your personal notepad or you can just use the online notepad for it okay so what you have to do simply click on again add new user then here we are going to create one user for teacher so just type teacher okay and I, uh, last name you can just give anything now click on this manage and from here choose the teacher okay now simply click on done click on add new user now here just copy this password and paste your your notepad we need this password in the last step okay so just please make sure you just paste and copy that password of the teachers so you have done with that if you just scroll down click on check my progress for this task you will get a score without any issue if you just scroll down here you will get a score without any issue okay now for the task number two i will tell you what we have to do over here so now simply click on this app icon then click on this google workspace and here just scroll down to Google Meet and here you can see status is on uh, status is on so that's the thing we have to do over here and one more thing we have to do if you get like this kind of banner uh, red banner verify the thing just simply click on this verify and it's, it will be done just wait for a few seconds click on next Just wait for a few seconds then click on verify if you want to perform the task number four you can just do this thing if, uh, otherwise if you just want to perform that up to task number three you, you don't have to do all these things simply click on activate okay now it will take few seconds so just click on these two check boxes and click on continue so you have done with all this thing click on activate gmail now it will take few seconds so just you can just move it back now here you will get meet video second settings just simply click over here and now please pay attention over here now first of all just click on the student and then scroll down here and here you can get the tab called recording make sure you are in the student okay now click on this pencil icon then uncheck this checkbox and simply click on override now it will take few seconds so just it's done now if you just scroll down to the bottom you will get the score for task number 
3 also ok so now if you want you can just end the lab the lab will give the green tick for you ok so you have done with this now simply click on cancel now click on this uh, and then scroll down bottom and click on this classroom ok now it will take few seconds and please pay attention while here now click on this then use the use another account ok now here we have to use the teachers email id so just come over here then click on this uh, home icon then simply click on this here you can see the teachers quick labs like this or you can just go to the directory and from here go to the users and from here just simply click on here ok now copy this email id come over here and paste over here and simply click on next now for the password we have copied the password and pasted over here so just copy this and paste over here and the reason why I per, uh, said to perform this step if we don't perform that step we are not able to get this kind of page ok after clicking on this uh, hamburger icon like this so we have to just create new password so just copy this password copy that paste over here tab paste over here and simply click on change password So it will take few seconds so just wait for that now simply click on continue and make sure you are logged in with the teachers quick lab ok so this is account for the teacher now I am a teacher choose that now just scroll down scroll down to here and we need to just copy this class name called history and once you are here you can see just you will get the one option called join so just refresh the page and once you refresh it you will get the option for create a class so just simply click on there then paste the name and make sure there is no extra space over here ok then click on create once you click on create everything will be done just scroll and click on check my progress now it will take few seconds so just wait for that and if you not get a score over here just simply click on this generate link ok so as you can see I got a score but sometimes it's not good to score we have to click on the generate link so just simply click on this generate link and everything will be done so i hope you guys like the way i solve the lab and you guys like the explanation which i which i tell you in this lab thanks for watching guys have a good day